Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we're doing my match reaction for Argent to Canada now. I want to start off and say this right now with Canada. They should feel proud. I think making the Copa America semifinals and their debut tournament is an incredible achievement. Not many nations can say they've done that. And the fact that Canada have pulled this off is incredible. And to only lose, like, 2-0 to Argentina is pretty good. You know, because remember, Argentina is the best team in the world. Uh, the, the, the highest ranked. They're the defending Copa America champions. They're the defending World Cup champions. They're the best team in the world. Now, are they playing like the best team in the world? That's a bit debatable because I would probably say Spain has probably been playing, playing better. Uruguay has probably been playing. Colombia has been be better. Uruguay may be a bit debatable. But the point I'm trying to make here is that what Canada did has been incredible. You have to give credit to Jesse Marsh, what he did tactically to get this team spot on because Canada did well. You know, and getting to the semifinals is an incredible achievement. And Canada defensively looked great. Now, in this game in particular, defensively, they weren't too great. Um, we'll get on to that a bit later. But like I said, I just want to start with saying that. For Argentina, man, I'm a bit concerned with Argentina. Because, yes, they won the game 2-0. That's all great and all. But if you actually watch the game, it wasn't particularly that dominant as you would hope for. Argentina just about edged through. Now, they were the better team. Let's not kid ourselves here. They were the better team, and Argentina deservedly won. But the fact that this the game was quite close is a bit concerning. You know, because Argentina, for me, like, look at the amount of shots target. Three shots on target, 11 shots. Canada, nine shots, two on target. Guys, Canada could have got a goal back in this game. They had some great chances uh, in this game. Let's talk about that first half, man. That first half, man. Canada started amazing. I thought Canada were actually the better team for quite large parts in the first half. They were creating chances. Uh, Canada missed a lot of two chances. Salzburg in particular missed those first two chances, the fifth and seventh minute. And then you can start to see the Arja Warren grew into the game. Arja grew into the game, and it was a great goal there from uh, Alvarez. Great, great goal there. Great assist there from DePaul. I don't know what Krepu is doing. I think Krepu is a bit too uh, on, on, not on his line. And this has been some one issue I've had with Canada and the Copa America because I feel like Krepu, as good of a shot stopper he is, he's been a bit too adventurous at times. A bit too adventurous. And I think this is something Canada, if Canada wants to go far in the World Cup, this is something that maybe they need to stop doing because Krepu, he's a great shot stopper and all. We all know that. But you can't go off your line that often. You know, and I just think that's a really not good defensively. I thought I also thought Bombito was also pretty poor defensively given uh, Alvarez amount of space and time to make a decision. And yeah, and he scores. And then from that point on, man, Argian had some chances to make it to now. Messi, man, Messi had a great chance here. I don't know how Messi didn't score this chance. Because th if this was like old Messi, old vintage Messi, he would have scored that. He would have scored that. This one, on the other hand, he didn't score. It was a bit, it was a bad miss. He also had a miss here. Guys, Messi was Messi's finish was really awful today. It was awful. But you know, he did redeem himself with a goal in the second half, which is great. Uh, which we'll get onto that now. The second half, man. Or just start great. Great goal there from Messi. Uh it took a little bit of a deflection there. I um, you know, and RG, as I said, were not that great in the second half. You know, Messi scored, and then that's pretty much about it. I mean, RG had Fernandez that had that block there. Fernandez was actually the initial shot that got blocked, and Messi got on the uh, Messi. It fortuitously fell to Messi, and Alvarez had that. And then Canada has some chances to get some uh, to get some uh, to get a consolation. Oh, listen, a from the bench, Kone, and Miller. But yeah, as I said, man, the second half pretty much not really much happened. The second half was pretty much on uh, uh, snooze fest in the second half. And I just think Archie, for me, they were so defensively solid on the day, which I think is something that I have to give Archie a credit to is that we haven't really seen them. Like I think this might be the. Actually, I want to ask you guys this question. Is this the best defensive performance RG has had in the Copa America? Now, granted, Canada isn't really the most challenging opponent. And we'll see on Sunday. Because let's be real, guys. RG is going to have to improve a lot if they want to win that Copa America on Sunday. Because that midfield, the midfield-wise, they weren't particularly that amazing. It, the midfield was great today. But I thought the fullbacks weren't particularly kind of shocking at times. Like Tagliafico, Montiel. Enzo actually had a good game. I think Enzo being played in a much more uh, deeper position actually suited him. And DePaul actually had a good game. And, you know, Messi score. And I think Messi score is great. You know, Messi now gives a confidence for the team. And for Argentina, as I said, man, they're going into the final on Sunday as favorites. And we'll see, man. We'll see what Uruguay and Colombia can offer because I don't think it's so certain that Argentina is going to win this. Now, they are the favorites, but it's not a given because we have seen how good Uruguay and uh, Colombia have been in this Copa America, especially Colombia. Uruguay has been good too, to be fair. But it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be interesting, guys. 
So once again, guys, for Argentina, man, they get the 2 0 win. And I think for Lino Scaloni, man, he lives for another day, man. You know, RG is back to back Copa America finals. And can they win the number 16? We'll see on Sunday, man. We'll see on Sunday. So if you guys did enjoy this quick little match reaction, guys, uh, then yeah, please remember to like and subscribe. And let me know if there's any major target points in the comment section below. And oh, yeah, actually, one thing before I round up, I do want to say this. I hope Davis gets better soon because that was a really bad injury. Really bad injury. I hope he gets better. Speed recover to Davis. I almost forgot to mention that. I needed to mention that. So, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.